Welcome to my home. This is a beautiful apartment. This is home for Fatima Saeed. This is my kitchen. I love my kitchen. It's beautiful. We have a window. A cozy two-bedroom apartment in Halifax. The only home she's ever known since she arrived from Ethiopia 18 years ago. This is my pink, beautiful living room. Problem is, it won't be home for much longer. Her building is being sold. My landlord is telling me to move out in October. And I know why they're doing this, because they will kick us out and then they will rent it to somebody else in a better price. She scours the rental ads daily, finding only rents twice as high as what she can afford. Almost like $2,000. A shortage of housing is getting worse here. Mark Culligan is a community legal worker who says in 2020, Halifax had the worst vacancy rate of any major city in Canada. The number of homeless here has doubled since then. It's a crisis. We're knee deep in a crisis. It's been a crisis for several years. And patience is waning. In prominent parts of the city, temporary shelters have popped up, only to be recently pulled down by city officials, angering those who argue there's not enough being done for the homeless. In fact, in recent years, Ottawa has upped the money for housing, but critics say it still falls short. Ottawa needs to fund the construction of new social housing units. In Nova Scotia alone, uh, a new report by the CCPA in the spring estimated that we need at least 30,000 new social housing units in the next 10 years. Uh, that is the best way to address the affordable housing crisis. Right now, Halifax is a city that is already experiencing record population growth, driving up the cost of housing. And there are plans for more immigration, leaving Saeed, an interpreter and life coach for new immigrants, fearful. I don't have a place to live. I have no idea where my government is going to put those people. They don't have a house for me. They're bringing them. Where are they going to put them? And for Fatima Saeed, her eviction date looms. Sure, there's been a building boom here, an explosion of new rentals on the market, all of them too expensive for her. Come, Nadia, what do you want to eat lunch? And so this single mother asks, what am I to do? And my daughter and I, like, she cries and she says, Mommy, where are we going to end up? Where are we going to sleep? Are we going to become homeless? Saeed says it all weighs heavily on her mind. And during this federal election, she wants the politicians to develop solutions for what she says is a growing and daunting problem. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.